Dream shattered. That's what vendors at Traders Village had to say after they were forced to close their doors the night before they were originally set to reopen last week. The city of San Antonio said the flea market could not reopen, but after the state changed course and gave the green light, thousands showed up this weekend. The night team Stephen Cavazos now with how these small business owners are getting back into the swing of things. Traders Village really brings in a lot of people. And on any ordinary weekend, we're told that could mean up to 15,000. But this weekend, it's far less. Traders Village reopened for the first time in almost two months. For a number of years now, this has been our only income. These two months, it was really tough. Alfredo Castellanos is the owner of Tejano Imports. He says they've been at Traders Village since day one. But as COVID-19 continued to spread, business came to a halt. Two weeks in, it was more fear of not getting any income than the actual virus. But those fears slowly fading as customers returned. Traders Village tells us it wants to maintain a 20% capacity and only a portion of vendors have returned. Food stands are open, but rides remain closed. And right when they enter, customers are encouraged to put their masks on and stay safe. Although business is slowly returning, it almost didn't happen. Vendors had hoped to return last weekend, but those efforts were shut down by city officials. For Wendy Holcomb, owner of Indios Boots, it was heartbreaking. I had to cry and I went to go buy wine that night. Our dream was shattered. But the Texas Division of Emergency Management told KSAT last week that flea markets can reopen as they're classified as shopping malls. Holcomb says that she's happy to get back to work this weekend, but it will take time before things are booming once again. It's kind of slow, so we're struggling to get back to our normal rhythm. She says it's not just a business, it's a livelihood. We live for this. This is our daily, this is our struggle, this is our hustle. Now, we did reach out, we did speak with Rudy Escamillo, who is the general manager here at Traders Village. He did say that he does hope to see more vendors return as restrictions are loosened in the future. But for now, he is happy that business is getting back to some new sense of normal. Reporting live, Stephen Cavazos, KSAT 12 News. Tim Courtney.